Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Educação Hacker. My name is Francis, I am from Brazil. And today I will gonna talk about CDP course and certification. It's a certification from Practical DevSecOps and CDP means Certified Professional DevSecOps or DevSecOps Professional. So the idea here is give a review about the course and about the certification. So I will start talking about the course and the methodology that they use for teach us about DevSecOps. So in the first model, they will teach you about the basics of DevSecOps. So they will show you GitLab, Jenkins, CI/CD, Docker, Linux, and the things that is the basics for the a CI CD pipeline. So the things that you need to know to work with them. After this, they will show you some methodologies that the, the people use a lot in the marketing, like shift left and other methodologies that uh, you can understand what is the importance of a DevSecOps methodology and why the companies want to put this in the organizations. After this, we'll start to show some tools to complete the pipeline scan. So you will have some examples of ECA scans, about SAST scans, about secret scans, and for example, EAC, like scans of Ansible, of Terraform, they will show you this also and uh, after this have a model about compliance as a code that you can put also in your pipeline and the last model is about uh, vulnerability management because uh, you put a lot of tools in the pipeline and you need to manage these finds that you found in your application so it's a complete course that you will teach you the basics of how implement a security pipeline in a company and you will working with a lot of open source tools and things that you can apply in your company and show results for your organization after do the course you have like a 36 days of labs and after this you can do the exam and the exam is five challenges that you need to solve and the challenges is basically create pipelines to solve these challenges so they will ask you for create a pipeline with some stack and uh, and you need to create this and take like screenshots for after you finish your test you need to write a report so you need to save it the outputs of the tools and the screenshots for uh, you create the final report so we will have uh, 12 hours for finish the exam and 24 hours to write the report after the, the exam it's a uh, long time i think uh, it's possible you do the exam in less time than the 12 hours but uh, it's important that you take screenshots taking notes of everything uh, i think we lost more time in saving information than solving the challenges you know like uh, when i made my exam i finished the first challenge very fast but uh, I forgot to then take some screenshots so I do again the same challenge just for take some notes and screenshots that I forget but uh, the content of the course is enough for passing the certification so make the labs and practicing trying try again and I believe that you can pass if you practicing a lot i i already have uh, some experience because uh, uh, i implement the devsecops in my company in my work so when i 
get the course I have already working with that so uh, I learned new things in the course but uh, I have a good basics and this helped me a lot for improve and can do the things fast, faster than other people maybe so uh, study a lot and the content of the course is enough to pass in the certificate I believe this is the the most important thing that I can say for you and I hope you, that you can pass in this exam and certification okay sorry my English isn't perfect like I said I'm not from a country that speaks English I am from Brazil so uh, I hope that you can understand all the things that I want to say here and I think it's that okay so have a nice day bye bye